Today I want to talk about volume and volume is a way of measuring the amount of space, three-dimensional space, inside a three-dimensional object. And we typically measure volume in cubes. Um, for example, we could measure the amount of space inside a three-dimensional object in the number of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter cubes. What we call a centimeter cubed. This is one centimeter cubed. Or we could use meters cubed or some other measure. So measuring the amount of cubes inside is one way to measure volume. Another way is capacity units or the amount of liquid inside that object. Milliliters or liters. And in terms of how these things are connected, one centimeter cubed, if melted down, is equivalent to one milliliter of liquid. Um, or another common conversion that's used is one meter cubed, one meter by one meter by one meter, a very large space. That's equivalent to a thousand liters. So we measure volume, which is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional object, in one of two ways, cubes, the number of cubes inside that object, or capacity units uh, for liquid, commonly milliliters or liters. So how exactly do we measure the volume of an object? And today we want to talk specifically about the volume of a prism. And you'll remember that a prism, I have an example down here of a rectangular prism. What a prism is, is an object that has two parallel bases, and I'm going to shade the bases. Here's a base, and the one parallel on the top is also a base. And the prism part of the word means that the sides between the bases are rectangles. So my sides are all rectangles. So this is a rectangular prism. And to get the volume, what I'm going to do is take the area of the base, so the area of this rectangle, and multiply by the height, which is like the number of layers of the base to get to the base at the top. I have a demonstration of this concept from the Wolfram Alpha Demonstrations Project website. Here's my base that I colored in on the other screen, my length times width, my base. And to get the volume, I take the area of this two-dimensional shape, in this case length times width, area of the base, and I multiply it by the height. It's like I'm reaching or, or making layers from the bottom base up to the top base. So this length that I'm drawing out is the height of my prism. So I do the area of the base multiplied by the height. So the volume is the area of the base times the height. Let's do the area of the base over here on the side. That would be my 5 by 3. It's a rectangle. So that area is 15 centimeters squared. And then if I finish that off into my volume formula, the volume is 15 centimeters squared multiplied by a height, the length from the bottom base to the top, 10 centimeters. And my volume is 15 times 10, 150 centimeters cubed. You can think of the units centimeters cubed coming from the addition of the exponents on the unit. Centimeters squared times centimeters to the one is centimeters cubed. So 150 centimeters cubed it would take to fill this three-dimensional object. That's its volume. All right, here is another prism and this time we have a triangular prism and sometimes this shape can be confusing for people but our base isn't necessarily the bottom of the figure it's the shape that the figure has that's the same on the front and the back from one level to the other so my colored section triangle on both ends is my base and the prism part is the rectangular sides um, joining those two bases Here's an animation of the volume of a triangular prism. We have our triangle as our base, and if we draw it out from one base to the other, our height, we get our shape. And again, you can turn this shape, it doesn't matter which way it's sitting, but it is the triangle that is the base. 
a triangular prism. So the volume of our prism again is the area of the base which is the triangle times the height. So let's work on the area of our triangle over here on the side. We know the area of a triangle formula is one half base times height. Let me draw my triangle out. It's 10 by 10 by 12. And we'll notice that we don't have the height of this triangle, which we're going to need to calculate its area. So we're going to have to figure this distance out, h, um, using Pythagoras. And because it's an isosceles triangle, uh, we can use this section, 10, h, and 6, to calculate the height. The height squared plus 6 squared will be 10 squared. The height squared plus 36 is 100. Subtract 36 is 64. So my height is 8 centimeters. So my height of the triangle goes in there. The base of my triangle is 12. It goes in there. And so my area of the base, 1 half 12 times 8. Uh, comes out to 48 centimeters squared. Now that we have the area of the base, we can put that number into our volume formula as 48 centimeters squared times big H, which is different than little h. Big H, remember, is the distance from base to base in the prism, which is our 30. So our 30 goes in for H. And we do our calculation, volume is 48 times 30, which will be 1,440 centimeters cubed. Now for the final example, I'd like to do the volume of this shape, which is a cylinder, of course. It's not a prism, which has been our focus so far, but a cylinder is kind of like a prism. And if we again go back to one of our animations, uh, here was my triangular prism. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change my base from a triangle to a base that has more sides. And notice what I'm doing. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. My number of sides is getting larger and larger. And as I do that, I can see that the shape of my figure gets closer and closer to a circle. So if I take the number of sides to infinity, my prism ends up looking like a cylinder. So what I'm saying is a cylinder is kind of like a prism. Here is our animation of the cylinder specifically. And if I take my base, flatten it out, this is as far as I can get it down, and then I multiply it by the height, it's the same concept as the volume of a prism. We're going to do the area of the base and multiply by the height. So for my cylinder, I have my radius of 10, I have my height of 5, and so my volume, being area of the base times the height, a cylinder being like a prism in that we have two parallel bases, and the area of that base is a circle, which formulas would be, uh, the formula would be pi r squared, and then we multiply by our height. This is the formula that you'll typically see for the volume of a cylinder. And then all we need to do is pop in our numbers. Pi times radius squared times height from base to base. That's pi times 100 times 5. So my volume is 500 times pi centimeter cubes. And I could decimalize that if needed.